Landmarks of Africa with Chanika and Charlie. Mount Kilimanjaro, Tanzania. What is Mount Kilimanjaro? What is Mount Kilimanjaro? asks Charlie. As usual, Chanika knows the answer. It is a dormant volcano located in the country of Tanzania on the continent of Africa. Many tourists like to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. It is part of the Kilimanjaro National Park. Scientists are interested in this volcano for many reasons. It has several glaciers, which are shrinking and disappearing ice fields. Scientists want to learn why these glaciers are shrinking. Mount Kilimanjaro is famous because it sticks up out of the flat earth and can be seen for many miles. It is the fourth most prominent peak on earth. Everything you want to know about volcanoes. I know what a volcano is, says Charlie. But what does dormant mean? Chanika answers. There are several kinds of volcanoes. Dormant comes from the word to sleep. This kind of volcano has not erupted for hundreds or thousands of years. Are there other kinds of volcanoes? Asks Charlie. Yes, answers Chanika. Active is the most well-known and the most dangerous. An active volcano can cause a lot of damage, and sometimes many people die during its eruption. The third kind of volcano is called extinct. Scientists think that this kind of volcano will not erupt again. What are some of the things that make Mount Kilimanjaro special? One of the things that makes Mount Kilimanjaro special is the fact that it has three dormant cones. They were active at one time in the past, and now they are sleeping. But they might wake up and explode at any moment. Charlie asks. What are the names of the three volcanic cones? Chanika comes to the rescue. Kibo, Mawenzi, and Shira. Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa, and it is the highest single freestanding mountain in the world. Charlie asks, "What does that mean?" It means that it is not a part of a mountain range. It sits by itself. Answers Chanika. Charlie says, "Like the Andes in South America, they form a mountain range." Good job, says Chanika. And there are a lot of other things about this famous mountain. Let's see what else we can learn. How did it get its name? Chanika says, "Scientists aren't sure where the name Kilimanjaro came from." An early encyclopedia, the Nuttall Encyclopedia, dated 1907, called the mountain Kilimanjaro. Says Chanika, Kiliman means mountain, and Jaro means caravan. Were there traders on the mountain? Asks Charlie. Yes, answers Chanika. One of them is very famous, Jim Thompson. He was most famous for trading in silks and other fabrics. Glaciers of Mount Kilimanjaro. Do you have any information about the glaciers on Mount Kilimanjaro? asks Charlie. Chanika is all ready to go because she loves glaciers. She says one of the early explorers was a missionary named Johannes Riemann. In the late 1800s. He and many others tried to reach the top of Mount Kibo. In the late 1800s, the glacier on the summit of Mount Kibo was completely covered by an ice cap. Later, in 1889, two explorers, Hans Meyer and Ludwig Purtschiller, were able to confirm that Kibo was definitely a crater. Are the glaciers on Mount Kilimanjaro growing or shrinking? Charlie asks. 
How many different kinds of glaciers are there on Mount Kilimanjaro? Chinika says, There are two kinds of glaciers on Mount Kilimanjaro. She goes on to explain the two main different kinds of glaciers. The glacier fields lie above the snow line. This means it's very cold and there is not much movement. The second kind of glacier can slowly move in a downward movement, especially if the air temperatures are warmer than usual. Scientists have been able to take ice cores, cylindrical examples of the material of the glacier and mountain. They have discovered that the ice fields probably became extinct in 11,500 BC. But later on, the ice fields grew again, and the entire field became covered with glaciers. What is happening now with the glaciers? Shanika tells Charlie the bad news. Unfortunately, almost 85% of the ice cover disappeared between 1912 and 2011. Glaciers are thinning more quickly than anyone ever thought possible. Why is this important? asks Charlie. Because, answers Chinika, although snow and mountains and glaciers are beautiful, they serve a very important purpose. It is estimated that all of the snow will have disappeared by 2060. And this means the loss of an important source of water for the humans and wildlife around Mount Kilimanjaro. Fortunately, The forests far below the ice fields provide essential water. What is the climate like on Mount Kilimanjaro? Scientists group the climate into climate zones. Bushland and lower slope, 2,600 feet to 5,900 feet, 800 meters to 1,800 meters. Rainforest, 5,900 feet. To 9,200 feet, 1,800 meters to 2,800 meters. Heather and Moreland, 9,200 feet to 13,100 feet, 2,800 meters to 4,000 meters. Alpine desert, 13,100 feet to 16,400 feet, 4,000 meters. To five thousand meters, Arctic, six thousand four hundred feet to nineteen thousand three hundred feet, five thousand meters to five thousand eight hundred ninety-five meters. The culture of the people living around Mount Kilimanjaro. Did people ever live on top of the mountain? asks Charlie. Maybe not right on top of the snow and the thin air at the high elevation, Chinika adds. There was a tribe called the Chaga, who lived on the southern and eastern slopes of the mountain. There are stories of animals performing great myths. One tells of a man, Tone, who angered a god named Rua. The result was a great famine. There are stories about ivory-filled graves of elephants and a cow, Rayli, that produced special fat. If a man tried to steal from Rayli, but was too slow in escaping, Rayli would blast the thief down the slope of the mountain. Are there plants and animals on Mount Kilimanjaro? There are very few large animals on the mountain, says Chinika. But there is more wildlife on the lower slopes of the mountain. There are about two hundred fifty thousand acres of natural forests on Mount Kilimanjaro. What kind of plants live here? asks Charlie. Chinika says some of the plants are edible, so they are important to the people who live here. There's corn, beans, sunflowers, and many more. Coffee also grows here, along with the ferns and mosses. On the drier northern slopes, olives grow. At higher elevations, some other plants grow, but they are not as useful to the inhabitants as the plants further down the slope. 
What are some of the animals that live on Mount Kilimanjaro? Chanika answers. There are very few big animals that live on Mount Kilimanjaro. No elephants or zebras or leopards? Asks a disappointed Charlie. Chanika relieves his mind. Further down on the lower slopes, there are Cape buffaloes, elephants, hyenas, leopards, and zebras. Other animals are mongooses, warthogs, sunbirds, bushbucks, dick dicks, and more. These are rarely seen, but they do live here in limited numbers. Several animals are associated with Mount Kilimanjaro. These are the Kilimanjaro shrew and the chameleon called Kinyongia tevatana. Interesting facts. Many people have successfully scaled Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro is the tallest mountain on the continent of Africa. Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest freestanding mountain in the world. It has three cones named Mewanzi, Shira, and Kibo. Mewanzi and Shira are extinct volcanoes. The cone called Kibo is the highest peak on Mount Kilimanjaro. Kibo is dormant and could erupt at any time. Kibo's last activity was about 200 years ago. Kibo's last major eruption was 360,000 years ago. On the highest summit of Kibo's crater rim, called Uhuru Peak, there is a wooden box in which people who have reached this height write their thoughts. An 87-year-old Frenchman, Valti Daniel, was the oldest to reach the top of Mount Kilimanjaro. Rainforest, heath, cultivated land, alpine desert, moorland, and alpine are the ecological systems found on Mount Kilimanjaro. In 2001, an Italian, Bruno Brunold, got to the Uhuru Peak at the top of Mount Kilimanjaro in 5 hours, 38 minutes, and 40 seconds, making this the fastest ascent in history. South African, Bernat Gusen, scaled Mount Kilimanjaro in a wheelchair two times. About 25,000 people tried to climb to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro every year, and about two-thirds are successful.